We're going to write a KSP expression for barium sulfate. So this is the equilibrium constant and SP stands for solubility product. So these particular equilibrium constants represent the solubility of a sparingly soluble salt. So we need the dissolving equation. So barium sulfate solid in equilibrium with barium two positive ion in solution and sulfate ion in solution. So we know that these equilibria are for things that are quite insoluble. Equilibrium always lies strongly to the left. They will be very small numbers, numbers with very large negative exponents. Uh, their numerical values will be. But right now we're just writing the expression here. So in order to write the equilibrium constant, it's always products over reactants. So our first product, barium, concentration of raised to the power of its coefficient, which is a one, so you don't have to write it, and multiplied by the concentration of the other ion sulfate which is also raised to the power of one. On the reactant side, we have only a solid and solids and liquids don't get included in equilibrium constant expression. So I could divide the whole thing by one, but I'm not going to because I don't need any of that. So there's my equilibrium constant for barium sulfate. This solubility product is for lead two chloride. Again, we need the dissolving equation for lead two chloride. So PbCl2 solid in equilibrium with its ions, Pb2 plus, aqueous, and 2Cl negative aqueous. So when lead 2 chloride dissolves, it gives us a lead 2 ion and 2 chloride 1 negatives. KSP is the concentration of the lead two positive, raised to the first power and multiplied by the concentration of chloride ion raised to the second power because the coefficient is two. And again, we omit the PBCL2 because it's a pure solid.